Drake, to me, is still not showing the growth that I'm anticipating at his part of his career. Got a lot to deal with as OVO Low rolls his eyes. Is the Drake oh, 21 Savage album. For me, first glance, phenomenal album. You know, look, I'm always critical. I could always say you didn't need this song and yeah. I don't like this song, but that's part of uh, just being a fan of, of the music that these two individuals make or any rapper makes and being a fan of hip hop. Right. But all in all, I love the album and I'm glad it happened and I knew it was gonna have some heat on it. I feel the same. I really like this project overall. I think we all went in with high expectations. I personally wasn't disappointed. We'll get to some of the more controversial moments. One of the things we didn't know, uh, I guess we assumed it would be a 50-50 Drake 21 project. It wasn't exactly that. I think when Drake and Future collaborated, that felt more like a Future album with Drake on it. This felt like more Drake, but 21 contributing a lot to the project too. And I love that the one solo record he got was the one we wouldn't have expected. Because mm -hmm. Drake started that series where it's been like, over a decade at this point right. to yeah. let 21 be the guy to like, own that record. Yeah. Amazing. Was well, that a 3 a.m. in 3 a.m. on, on Brent, Brentwood or yeah. Glenwood? Glenwood. Glenwood. Glenwood, yeah. yeah. But yeah, overall amazing album, great production. <sighs> Here we go what? now. Oh no, don't tell me you're disappointed. Uh let me see. What do wow. I start? Okay. That bad, huh? No, see. Don't don't do that. Bro, you started with a deep breath. How old no, am because, I supposed to? No, because all right, to... look, okay, listen, listen. Okay. This album. You know, like we said previously, uh, Drake and 21 have not missed. When we go into this project after Jimmy Cooks from Honestly Nevermind, there's a big, big question of like, well, what's coming? Is this leading us to something else? Wait, so, you, so you're saying that Jimmy Cooks, which was the last track, which was the foreshadowing for yes. this project, yes, you received this project and immediately went, is this foreshadowing yet? Something else? No. Oh. What I said was Jimmy <laughs> Cooks was the unofficial announcement of her loss. And we didn't I mean, know the, at the yeah, time. We didn't know at the time. But it was. The conspiracy theorist, yo, something's coming. That's right. Mm -hmm. Why would you do a record like that on an album like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So then we get her loss. Production-wise, top tier, damn near 10 for 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? What 21 did, um, unexpected from me. I think he, the show needed to be focused a little bit more on him. Okay. Because his contributions were top tier phenomenal. Okay. Right? Them, them together is a great tangent. Okay. Drake, to me, is still not showing the growth that I'm anticipating at his part of his career. Right? So you're still on, waiting for something. What is it? Can we focus on the I word just, growth? I, no, what I mean, kind of like growth there's, are we talking about? I'm not about? talking about daddy raps. I'm not talking about financial advisement. I'm not talking about, it's just, I think- Art collector raps. Art, I'm not talking about none of that. I just think there's a, a pocket or a circle that he's very, very comfortable in and it works and it's not a bad thing. So okay. let me say this to all the OVO fans who are about to throw the owls in my comments. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Right, but that's I, what Drake is running with. He's running I, with that philosophy. Yeah, I do believe it, but it, it sounds good. Right? Okay. So this album. So what is your problem, sir? It's repetitive. It's not a, twenty-one. No, 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 not twenty-one. Drake's contribution to this project. You are saying there are nuggets of things that like, oh, I like that flow, or I like that delivery. Mm -hmm. But the bigger picture for me is, it's just it's comfort. Okay. It's okay. comfort. And, so, and if it works for him, that's fine. Right? I'm not saying, yo, I'm not listening so to him. So you're saying Drake did Drake and Drake does Drake very well. And you want Drake to be another Drake and he's not yet to, excel, to that new to Drake. A, yeah, to excel. To, to, to and this shock is, me, to surprise me when I hear, oh, I didn't expect that from you. And you wanted that on this album. This I would have I would have. I would have. Well, he's been wanting it for several yeah, albums. Yeah, I would have I would, I loved little nuggets of it. I mean, this is a collaboration album, so it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be exciting, party, turn up, ratchet, this, that, and the third. But... It's just, I don't know. I just can't pinpoint where he can just... I don't know what that growth would be. I understand what you're saying. So I, I just... I don't, we never know what the growth for another person would but be. But when you think, hear it... I just don't... What What would it be? I just can't imagine growth See, this is the problem. Okay. What I want to say to you is you're, you herald and hold Drake in high regard. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem. As one of the greats, as 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 many people do mm -hmm. in the... In as a future, future great. He's I mean, a great right now. 
Well, one of the one of the greatest. I want him to be one of the greatest. Right, and that's what you want for him. And you compare him against other greats of the greats and greatest of all time. Right. And I think in doing so, you're waiting for him to have moments that other artists had, mm -hmm. and that's where you always feel disappointed. Yeah. Is because you're comparing him to things you already know instead of leaving a blank slate for him to forge his own destiny and his own path well, the way see, he like, wants to and accept it like that. So Does that make sense what I'm saying, Nadeska? It makes sense. I just don't see it coming. I don't necessarily want it. Well, that's a I'm different combo. I'm just trying it. to help you understand why he yeah. hangs his hat and is always going to be disappointed by Drake. It. See, it's not, So whatever no, no, Drake not, puts forward, not. until it compares no, 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 to no, no, the no, things no. that he thinks are the greats, no. it will never. No. I didn't say I was disappointed. Be. I didn't say that. I said it's a good project. They're having fun. I appreciate the little nuggets of growth, but for me, where were those nuggets? Maybe you could uh, give us some examples and um, we could understand more of what middle you of the expect. ocean had had a couple nuggets. Okay. Um, In terms of the subject matter, just the or subject the... matter and just how he sounds and the, the presentation of it. Like, I just look. I, I know what I'm gonna get when I hear a Drake project. Yeah. Right. Aside from honestly, never mind, which is not for me clearly. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. That's not and my, that's not a rap project. Yeah, it's not a rap project. But I just know what I'm going to get when I hear him. It's just that when I hear Drake take a shot at Serena Williams' husband, I don't well, that's see... Well, that's a completely different conversation. How is it different? I just don't see, like, a future where Drake is evolving into this person that you are well, looking see, for. Well, no, see, no, 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 Okay, no, no, no. he's talking about rapping abilities, cadence, flows, beat selections. He's talking punchlining. And lining. you still want more in that He regard. wants more barn it up Drake. I mean, we we We've got it. From, we, of, okay. We're getting it from some of our favorites now, some of our greats now. Why why is he exempt? So boom, but that's separate from con subject matter and being petty. Yeah, no, that's separate. That's a separate convo. Petty Drake and Drake advancing his quotes using a hove line, using other people's life in conjunction with his own, mm -hmm. or just being petty in general, uh, because he knows if he does the uh uh she lied about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. She didn't get my joke, but she's still smiling. He knows that's going to get the fervor mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. Not because... Now, I just want to throw this in there. Megan has every right to be upset at <laughs> people punchlining off of her issue and being shot. And I'm glad she, I'm 1, glad she responded. 1,000% has yeah. every issue. I'm glad she responded in the In the universe of hip-hop, that line is benign in comparison to people talking about bombings of 9-11, no, calling no, but themselves see, no, Taliban. So, no, no, wait, listen, listen. Drake joking about stabbing, I mean, uh, Hove joking about stabbing Un. Uh, like, we could go through, like, that's just a rap punchline thing. But I get why people are mad because it was, it was unnecessary un and unclassy. It's, it's, it's unnecessary. I'm yeah. sorry, like, it, you, you, you didn't need to do it. That's right. She was... Over there, all true, unbothered, all true, right? Facts. Like, and then little Yachty say, "Oh, it wasn't about her." Please, like, well, like it, we're not dumb. No, no, no. I know. Like, but like it, you say, like he, the fervor, like he, he, he knows. knows. Yeah, you, but you, why do that when you know? You're absolutely right. Why, like, why do that when now you got the entire timeline? Like, the only reason yo, you're saying that though is because I believe because it's Drake. When because of his level, now you're scrutinized in ways that if just. Some dude had said that, you right. know, some rando rapper had said that at a punchline as a bar. My be like, oh, but because it's Drake. Yeah, that's why it's surprising me. And on, on the album, it's, the same it's, album, it's looked at differently. He's talking about, doesn't he make a mention of Roe v. Wade? That's what I heard, right? He talks about yeah, abortion he did. or he did. who has the yeah, right sure to did. choose. He and did. then he goes on and has the Megan line. So where you're looking for more from Drake, it sounds like in terms of his flow and his bars and all of that, I feel satisfied with what he's given us over the past decade. It's just to me some of the content. The lines like that that we didn't need the shot yeah, at Alexis rap Ohanian. Oh, bro, it's rap. It is, but it's not. Cool. But it's yeah, not yeah, like and, that was, and that was corny. Be for sure. It was corny. Both can be true. It was Both corny. can absolutely be true. Like I'm just, I'm okay. not. This always rap. No, that's corny. For sure, but it's still some rap. Now the uh, Serena's husband nah, thing. Man, that's tight, also bro. corny. Serena's husband thing is corny. That's too. the corniest moment. Talking about talking about drama from a five year incident. That also, was corny. Like what are we doing here? That's what I'm saying. Those are the moments that I didn't. Yeah. Here, bro. Drama ain't bottling nobody. Yeah, Why don't you, you bother Pusher? You, you ain't bothering him, huh? 
Bother Hove. You ain't bothering him, huh? Go compete with that can compete back. You got a lot more problems with this album than I do. I didn't expect that. I was trying to say, I was Now I, there's I a song on the album with since we're on problems. Here there's we go. A song on the album. Yeah. So on problems. Let's go. That made me not almost not like I have to ignore that the song exists for me to like the album. This uh the circle local joint. I can't, I don't know. No, to that's that. not the no, one. I'm talking about what no, like, that's okay. circle. Yeah, that's broke me. boys, man. What's wrong with that one? Grown men don't sit around talking about we don't hang out with no broke boys, man. And what did I just say starting out this conversation? This man, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And he's been talking about broke for a long time. Man, grown men, we don't hang out with no broke boys. Like, what are you talking about, you just, bro? Like, what are you even talking this is about? Right now? I, I said this. But when I said the content, you said that's not what you're talking about at all. Well, no, I mean, like, I'm glad he brought that to, to my attention. But this is how important and big Drake is, and 21 for that matter, is that we are needling this project. For, that's what we're supposed it. to hear. Yeah, that's what yeah, we're yeah. Supposed but to that's do. how important and big it is, right? right. And so you get held to a different standard mm -hmm. when you are at a certain level. And I want to leave that comment for everyone out there for, and you can apply that to many things a lot. that are going on right now around popular dialogue. This idea that, you know, you get to just be like everyone else once you're at a certain level. Truth is, you don't. Drake's at a certain level. He don't, he, he, he can, but people are going to scrutinize him and have venom for him when he does a punchline like, the Megan and Stallion that's why it's line. shocking to me. Remember when he had the whole issue with Pusha and Kanye? Wasn't there a point where allegedly he decided to draw the line where he could have exposed something about Kanye? But him being such a big artist, he had so much to lose. It wasn't worth risking in a beef that was deeply personal to him. That's why it still shocks me, although you say it's rap and it is. The Megan line. I just didn't expect someone like Drake, who is a pop star, who just made a, a techno album. And he says it on this album because he travels and it wasn't for rap fans necessarily. To have that line, but yeah, I don't feel like Lil where like I'm looking for more from him. Maybe sort I should, maybe of skill I should... wise and lyrically, it's just some of the content to me is kind Lowe's of corny. Like those upset. shots. He's clearly. I'm not upset. upset. Maybe I should take off my body body glasses language. and just blindly no, no, go to project. No, no, you don't have to. I'm just I, that's all I'm saying. Okay. For me, I'm not looking for more. There's some artists like. So you you the... reached their ceiling with expectations from Drake. Yeah, but not in a bad, not in a. Negative no, no, I'm not way. saying a negative. I'm yeah. just saying like I'm cool. I'm good where he's taken me. In my listening experience. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Diddy making a big move into the cannabis game. Um, seems like the right thing to do at the right time, right? He, he acquired a bunch of businesses. Yeah, he's putting a lot of money behind it, $185 million. So I think um, he's going to be able to, to grow, manufacture, distribute um, a lot of cannabis. So I think he'd be the biggest black-owned weed company maybe in the world even. That's right. So that's pretty amazing. And I mean, I think he talked a little bit about it saying, you know, what we know that historically the black community has been, you know, uh, targeted by these like unjust laws. So now the black community should benefit now that we're legalizing marijuana. So I think that's super dope. You know, Jay-Z also owns a big yeah. company. Yep. We know people like Snoop have always been involved. So it's nice to see, you know. Burner. Other, yep. Shout out to Burner. Yeah, yep. Burner. Uh, sending our love and um, just so much positive energy to the Migos family to uh, the QC family and the greater hip hop family that take off being killed. Um, I mean, I don't really, I, it's just sad. Yeah. That's it, like. Yeah, a few days later and it's still kind of hard to wrap my head around this. And, um, you know, these guys have been moving around for a long time and I know they're careful. I remember when we lost Pop Smoke, Quavo talking about, um, you know, sort of giving advice and wishing he could have done more because people know how the game is. I think Takeoff even spoke about it recently, you know, things like not sharing your location and social media. So they were careful guys and it's, you know, just tragic that this could still happen. Um, yeah, still really hard for me to process, but, you know, condolences to his friends and to his family. Yeah, I think, you know, you're, you're talking about a country that, you know, has concealed carry laws and people with licensed guns, then you have just the proliferation of illegal guns, people who have no business carrying a gun. Then you have the culture of violence in America in general, and then you have the reality that in hip hop and in street culture in general, uh, specifically in black and brown neighborhoods, the over-indexing 
of gun violence. We don't have all the details of what took place. We know what the rumors are. I don't know if you guys have any new details of how Takeoff or why Takeoff uh, was killed. Um, but from the information that I've read that has been public, uh, it doesn't sound like he was an intended target or was even a part of whatever led to mm -hmm. um, guns being pulled out in the first place. This is like a kind of difficult part for me because of how, um, not graphic, but like how up and close and personal we were with that whole situation. Like the incident. The, the incident, itself. yeah. And what I don't want to do out of respect for, you know, the group, his family, friends, is try to piece things together on a public platform, knowing that there's a lot of moving parts. Right, right. You know, there's a lot of talk about, you know, Jazz Prince Jr. and all that stuff. And a lot of theories have been thrown around. And I but think, it's all just conjecture on the internet. Yeah, but it's I loose. do think it, it, there has to be a responsibility from the media to let law enforcement handle those things because people land on the things that we say because they believe we have insight. Right. Or we speak with infliction of like, yeah, that person was right here and he was right there and you can see the gun. And it's just like, bro, like we're getting bits and pieces of what happened in like 30 seconds. Well, yeah, the internet going FBI. You know right, what I'm saying? But, they but gonna, I'm the internet FBI, they go ham. Yo, do you guys want to do uh, comments? Uh, I would love to. Social media comments before we... Before we break up out of here? Yeah. Um, Lo, they would like us to start a counter. How many times you say this, that, and the third on every episode? I don't believe there was one on this one, so. No, like. Do you say that that often? I do I? I never caught that. Would, no. Do I? This, that, and the third? We're start keeping track now. <laughs> All right. We got a new Rap Life Review drinking game. <laughs> when Lo says this, that, and the third, take a shot. <laughs> Yo, we'll see y'all next week, man. Thanks for locking in. Yo, make sure you add the uh, Rap Life playlist to your phones, man. So that way when it's updated, you get all the heat. Shout out to the whole team who puts that together. Uh, everybody leaving comments. We love you even if you don't love us or think you love us. But if you spend time watching every week, you clearly do. And we love you back. Thanks for watching this episode of the Rap Life Review. If you enjoyed what you saw, just show us that it's real. Hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment so we can hit you back on next week's episode.